Sussex feels regretful. Camilla takes over the National Theatre caused Meghan as cross as two sticks. The Duchess of Cornwall has been named the new patron of the National Theatre after Meghan left the royal family, exposing an old rift between the two women who share a mutual love of the arts. Camilla was announced today as the new royal patron of the National Theatre, an honour bestowed upon her by the Queen. Meghan had originally been granted the position by Her Majesty, but relinquished the title when she and her husband Prince Harry stepped down as senior royals. It was among two of the royal patronages the Queen gave Meghan. But when the honour had been given to Meghan originally, Camilla was reportedly upset at an apparent snub by her mother-in-law, wishing the role had been given to herself. At the time, a source told the Times, she really wanted it. She was pretty miffed when it went to Meghan, and will be all the more delighted to take it on now, after being disappointed not to get it first time round. Meghan was in the role for around two years at the capital's iconic theatre, but only managed to attend one official engagement at the premise, in January 2019. In March the following year, with her status as patron under threat following her wish to move away from royal life, she visited the premises privately again. Camilla has spoken previously of her fondness of the theatre, expressing her passion for the art. Speaking at the Olivier Awards in 2020, the Duchess of Cornwall said, I believe in theatre. It's the cornerstone of a fertile cultural life, a forum for debate and a powerful means of building community. Perhaps more importantly, those of us who believe in the theatre also believe in its resilience. During the initial lockdown during the coronavirus pandemic, she offered her support to those working in the theatre. She implored them to please remain resilient, reminding employees that we need you, and we've missed you. Camilla's new role at the National Theatre is reportedly another sign of how Her Majesty's trust in her daughter-in-law is blossoming. The first seeds of such trust were noted when the Queen endorsed Camilla to be the future Queen Consort, in a message marking her Platinum Jubilee. Meghan's official removal from the patronage occurred following a review of her and Harry's roles last year. Reports show that insiders at the National Theatre were excited to welcome Camilla to the role, noting her passion for the arts. The National Theatre said it was delighted Camilla, who is a long-standing supporter of the arts, was taking on the role and described her as a devoted fan of theatre. Meghan and Harry, along with their son Archie, opted to move across the pond to Canada, before settling in the US after ditching their royal roles. Harry, like Meghan, also lost a host of titles, including his beloved positions as patron of the Rugby Football Union and the Rugby Football League. Recently, Samantha Markle, 57, filed a defamation lawsuit against Meghan Markle, 40, following comments the Duchess made about her family during her Oprah Winfrey interview, TMZ reported on March 3. According to documents obtained by TMZ, Samantha is accusing Meghan of lying to the press and falsely spinning a rags-to-royalty narrative. She alleged the Duchess lied when she said Samantha changed her last name back to Markle only after Meghan started dating Prince Harry, TMZ reported. She said Meghan's harsh words had hurt the sales of her autobiography, prevented her from getting jobs, and caused emotional and mental distress, according to court documents viewed by the news outlet. Meghan added of her half-sister, when you talk about betrayal, betrayal comes from someone that you have a relationship with. I don't feel comfortable talking about people that I really don't know. Thomas addressed the lawsuit during a conversation with the celebrity photographer Carl Larson that was uploaded to his YouTube channel on Sunday. Larson asked Thomas if he would be willing to give a deposition to the court, which he said he would be more than happy to do. Thomas, who has been estranged from his daughter since she married into the royal family in 2018, said it would be an opportunity to see her face to face.